Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to create a, a correlation matrix or what we call a heat plot. And what this heat plot would look like is the graph on the left side of the screen. You can see there are different variables and we are seeing the correlation between them. Uh, the higher the correlation, the, uh, the darker would be the color. Uh, and it is a nice way to present uh, the, the correlation uh, using a, a graph uh, right? or, or a visualization. Uh, so there are tons of visualization that you can make. You can change the color, the, the, the style of the graph, uh, you know, change the text within uh, this graph. And this is what we are going to look into uh, in this video. So let's close this and uh, let's uh, see how do we uh, how do we make this graph this this heat plot. So let's first uh, install the or import the data. So we use the sysuse command. This is the auto data that we normally use in our videos. Uh, so we have our variables uh, from the auto data. Uh, if you have been watching my previous videos, I normally use this data. Uh, okay. So the correlation. How do we uh, to do the correlation, uh, we write the correlate command, uh, then the variable names that we want to use uh, or we want to have a correlation of. So if we execute this command, we get the correlation, right? We see that mileage and price have a negative correlation. It's a moderate correlation. Uh, sometimes uh, any value between uh, 0.3 and 0.5 is considered a moderate correlation uh, weight and mileage do have a, a, a strong correlation and uh, it's also negative so when one increases the other would decrease uh, similarly the highest correlation as um, it is quite logical is between a length and weight and it is a positive correlation which means that um, obviously when uh, when length would increase the weight would increase or the other way around Okay, but uh, this is normally the table that we, we present in our uh, in our publications. But wouldn't it be nice to have a graph that would uh, be color coded to represent the um, the highest correlation? And this is what we are going to do in our uh, this session. So for that. Uh, we are going to use a, a user written command which is called a heat plot. The command name is heat plot and you know that if we are going to use a user written command we will first have to install it. The command to install a user written command is ssc install heat plot. So I have commented it out. If you remove these commands you can simply um, select and uh, run this command but because I have already installed it so I do not need to run it and I have commented that uh, line of code. Okay, so once we have a correlation, the first step is we run the correlation, the correlate command, and we store this correlation matrix uh, into a variable. Now what I'm doing is I'm writing a, a command called matrix, and if you, if you do the help matrix, uh, you would uh, see a bunch of options, but Mainly what we are doing is we are using matrix input, right? Uh, so the input word is not mandatory. We can just use matrix and then write the variable name that will store the matrix. And what is this RC? If uh, you know that whenever Stata runs a command, it would store the values in certain scalar, right? A variable that wouldn't be showed in the variable window, <clears throat> but but they exist in, in the back end um, of uh, the memory of this data. So to retrieve uh, them, what we do is we use return list and it would tell us that there are 74 number of observations. We can see that here and that value, that number of observations value is stored in this uh, scalar uh, Rn, that, that is the uh, that is the container which stores this value. Similarly, this whole matrix, which would have all these values because there are four variables. Uh, so it is a four into four matrix that is stored in RC. So that would store the matrices. So what we are doing here is we are 
giving it a name so we can easily use it in our future commands so uh, matrix command then any variable name that you want to store it it can just be a or anything and then the matrix where the data is stored we execute this uh, it wouldn't do anything fancy but it would store um, uh, this data into this uh, variable but that variable wouldn't be showed in the variable view right uh, it is again in the back uh, in the memory of this data we can recall them obviously so the command uh, is to use heat plot which is the command name and then the the variable that stores that matrix so if we execute it um, it would give us this uh, nice color coded uh, uh graph and we would have this legend over here which would say that uh, yellow means uh, anything up above point or equal to 0.93 right uh, and similarly uh, so so positive correlations are uh, you know moving from green to yellow and the negative the highest negative correlations are purple now you see this diagonal line this would always be if, if we know it is the um, um, it would always be one because uh, it is the value of uh, because this is the correlation between price with itself so it would always be uh, a perfect positive correlation so anyhow we do not consider these these values so so what i mean to say is this diagonal yellow line would always be one and would be represented over here and because uh, with the yellow uh, color because it's the and the, you know the highest value okay so it doesn't seem quite nice we would want to have values within it and we would want to format those values so what i'm doing is i'm using a value option so let me first show you different options in this uh, heat plot uh, okay so we have a bunch of options so i'm going to use this values option which would display the numerical values as the marker within um, you know within this, this graph okay so and i am going to format it in a specific way uh, this uh, three means that we want to limit it to three decimal points so we have this but you know the size uh, might not seem quite uh, feasible for for publication we can change the size uh, let's say this time i'm using uh, a medium size but how do we know which uh, which element do we use over here uh, so if you go towards you know any graph let's just say two-way graph and we create uh, any plot just i want to show you the values that you can input over here uh, you come over here size so these are the values that you can use so if we wanted to have uh, let's say uh, very large so we would write v large so we would ignore the dot over here uh, let me just demonstrate it to you uh, okay so 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 how do you get the values uh, now you have an idea you can play with the values that uh, the size of the value that you want uh, i do not want this legend because you know i want it to be color coded in a way that the color would itself represent um, the higher value so let's first remove the legend uh, i'm uh, removing the legend using the legend of now one thing that you must understand is sometime i'm you know i'm explaining each line of a code or each option because this heat plot is a user written command and uh, uh, we do not have menus to create this so we would have to do with it with code so if you have to do it with code we would have to understand it uh, so that's why we have to spend some time uh, learning these options uh, i could have simply given you the the final code uh, you already have that anyways okay so we remove the legend and now we want to color code it <coughs> in a way and uh, if you again open the <coughs> the the options of heat plot <coughs> you would see we have a option of color uh, there are uh, within color we would have a color palette right this is the first input that we need to give and there are tons of color palettes that you can work with currently i'm using the hcl which is a color generator 
you can simply use mono or uh, economist etc you would have to play with it uh, if there is certain scheme that you have already used and you think it is good then you can simply use that scheme uh, right away so uh, but now i'm using hcl which is color generator okay so uh, so uh, let me remove this intensity for a second okay so so we see that uh, you know the colors are quite uh, dark they are quite intense so we might want to say decrease the intensity of the color and that's what we are using this the lower the number is i mean point 0.1 is the lower number and the lower the number is the lower will be the intensity of the uh, color and this is how it looks like so before it was quite a dark uh, red color so now the intensity had uh, decreased uh, uh, but i prefer a gray color because anyway it would be you know published on a black and white paper without color so i might use the uh, g scale option to to have uh, gray color um right and uh, probably uh, the you know currently the aspect ratio is uh, somewhat different from the other graph i can set the aspect ratio to 1 <clears throat> the one means that it would be a square if you use two then it would have twice uh, uh, the uh, width uh, as compared to uh, sorry twice the length as compared to the uh, width but uh, i don't think that uh, looks quite uh, nice similarly uh, we know that there is x label and this x label is also used with other uh, with other graphs um, so we can have we can change the label uh, size right or the angle of the label you within um, you, this, these options are within the x label command uh, sorry within x label options these are the sub options again we can change the the size um, that i have shown previously how do we get the values of these size and similarly we can have uh, y labels uh, which we can set to small so this is uh, quite a short intro of this heat plot that uh, there can be a lot that can be done currently the higher the gray color is the higher is the correlation so it does do not represent uh, i mean it doesn't mean a positive correlation but a higher correlation so you can see that 0.4 is the uh, three is the lowest value and it has the lightest color but 0 0.94, 0 0.7, these are high correlation values and they have a darker color. Uh, you can play with uh, different color schemes or different options that uh, you have with, uh, with this heat plot. Um, lastly, you can save this graph using the graph save command. Give the name of the graph and use the replace option. Um, to replace any saved value that is saved file that is there before thanks for watching the video